open up the door and spill. If the not stop my problem, stay still. What's up, y'all? Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds, and today I'm gonna teach you how to get a black light look without actually having to use black lights uh, for your videos. So shooting black light can be a cool look, uh, but actually using black lights uh, for filmmaking, one is very difficult, it can be very expensive because you need so many black lights to actually light a scene, but it just doesn't translate too well um, to the camera and again it's very expensive because you need so many lights and depending on your space if you have a very large wide open space you cannot light that scene with a black light so how they do it in the movies and how we just did it on a video uh, for Montana of 300 music video and why uh, this idea for a video kind of came up was because we lit the space uh, with an imitation black light using this gel so essentially, this is kind of a black light gel. Um, it's called Congo, and it's made by Lee Filters. So you can kind of see when I hold it up to the window, kind of that, it looks like it's, you know, black light, the type of hue and tint that a black light has. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this filter and you're gonna throw it in front of a light, but it does cut a lot of light, and so you're gonna need a very powerful light on set, we had an M18. I wish we could have gone stronger uh, to just really fill out the space or at least had several M18s uh, throughout the whole space because it was kind of focused in one area, but luckily in the space we were in, it was like a very uh, like white wall space, so the light kind of bounced a little bit. Um, but yeah, basically we took an M18, we gelled it up with the Congo gel from Lee Filters and uh, pushed a bunch of light through the filter onto our subject Montana. The idea was like he turned into a monster and it's kind of this dark underworld feel and I just wanted it to have a different look and vibe and I wanted to go black light and the best way to do that, <laughs> there's no way we would have been able to light that scene with actual black lights. And uh, I'll link the gel in the, the description below so you can go find it. You can find it on pretty, pretty much any online store. I'm not gonna say that. Lee, I know you can find it on Lee Filters website, Film Tools. We actually picked this up in store at Film Tools in Burbank, but Film Tools will sell it on their website as well. Um, so yeah, super cool look. If you're really looking for that black light kind of look, and what you could possibly even do as kind of like a camera hack is depending on how your scene is lit, you could cut out a circle or a square and wrap this around the front of your lens to kind of give a black light feel to your shot even though you may not have lit the scene that way. So you could kind of take this filter um, on, a, on a low level camera hack, cut out a piece, um, and wrap it around the front of your lens and give yourself like a very DIY uh, black light effect. So yeah, that's really it. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, you know, early on when I first started making videos, black light was something that I used for a couple different videos and I never knew of this trick or technique so um, having known this, you know, now it would have been great to know that back then. Um, but again, you know, you live and you learn, you grow as a filmmaker, and that's part of the journey and uh, the, the beauty of it. So yeah, hopefully this video helped. Um, again, the video is Mo Monster by Man Montana of 300. Um, when this video is out, I don't know if the music video will have been out yet or not, but you can go check it out, uh, Monster, uh, Montana of 300 music video directed by yours truly, DP Tom Taher. Um, yeah, hopefully this video helped. Links in the description below. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds. And I'm out.